Alright guys, well, everybody, welcome to tonight's uh, stream. I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV Online. Um, Shadowbringers is the newest expansion. I'm not there yet because I just started playing again after a long time. So I'm actually doing the very first dungeon you come up to in the game tonight. Um, I was going to do it last night. I guess it's kind of a good thing I didn't get a group for it so that I can do it tonight with you all, so we'll take a look at that. I am playing the part of the tank, so uh, we'll see how this goes, because tanking on a controller could probably be a little weird. And if it goes absolutely horrible for some reason, I also own the game on PC. This is the PlayStation 4 version, but I own everything on its entirety on the PC as well, so you know, if I want to hop on the PC and play, I can. If I want to hop on the PlayStation, I can. If I'm out somewhere and just have my laptop, boom, I can hop on there. How's how's everybody else's night going? How's how's everybody with me? Let's get some uh, thumbs up, hearts, smiley faces, sad faces, whatever. Just strap it all in here and let me know you're here. We'll work our way through this together. So here, we're kind of, we're loaded in right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, James. Um, you know, it's, we did, a, we did a couple back then. It's It's been a little bit, so I'm glad everything's running nice and smooth. Um, I'll be testing out, maybe like this weekend, I'll do a stream from the PC from the game as well. Uh, so we can take a look at how that's set up. Because like I said, I do own them, I do own it on both. So we can take a look at that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we have to use the duty finder, which is like a um, uh, dungeon finder type deal. And we're gonna, we're gonna hop in here. And we got almost, almost a half level worth of uh, some rusted experience down there. So that'll, that'll be nice. Take a take a little look around here. The dungeon is just like a short walk away as well. It's just like back out over here. So we can go take a look at that while we're waiting. Oh look, we got we got everybody but a healer pretty quickly. So let's let's actually get up over here. Cause um, as last night I was trying to do it pretty late and there wasn't that many people on, so I didn't want to find anybody. And, um, this dungeon's fairly quick, it's pretty straight to the point, you know, it's kind of teaching you the basics, letting everybody kind of learn their roles without it being, like, too overbearing from the start. Um, the good thing with that is, like I said, this is my first time tanking from, um, using a controller, and, like, learning rotations and stuff on there, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how this, uh, plays out for me. But, I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be good. You know, I've got my Iron Will up, I've got Provoke. Um, I just did the set of stuff that kind of teaches you how to tank, so... I've got the, I've got the fundamentals for this character down. Um, while we're waiting here, seeing if that pulls into a healer. Um, because these are four-man groups in the game. Um, my, my kind of, like, road map for this character is going to be playing, um... I'm the gladiator right now until level 30. Once I hit level 30, I can do the paladin quest line. I'm gonna take him up to level 60. Once I hit 60, I'm going to switch over and check out the gunbreaker. And um, I will play the gunbreaker up until 80, you know, depending if I like him or not. Cause if I don't like him, I'll just fall back and I'll just take the paladin up to 80. So we'll kind of see how that goes. But it says our our wait right now is less than five minutes. We're just waiting on a healer, so 
we'll see what happens. I guess I can kind of run down and watch. I'm going to go attack something, and that's going to be, like, the first thing that happens. It's like, oop, group. We got some stunts you can do. Okay, now one thing I kind of want to show you guys, too, is, like, when I hit circle here to use this move, and then I press, uh, there's these little, like, uh, dots moving around the move. That means the move has links, so I kind of did this, like, chain combo attack thing. So it's pretty cool that it gives you visuals for that. So, you know, sometimes when you're doing a bunch of stuff, you're just not like, oh, um, what am I doing? What am I comboing? I gotta remember where these moves were. There's this nice little visual indicator. So we got one of our one of our DPSs came back. So now we're just waiting on the uh, a healer. Hopefully, we'll we'll pick a healer up shortly. Straight up here? Yeah, he is. Let's do this little, like, fade event here. So we got a couple people here. So. I figured that happened. So now we're getting ready to go into uh, the dungeon here. We're gonna run through this. I'm playing the part of tank, so hopefully I don't fuck this up. I'm thinking of one of the things that I might eventually do too is I might um, dungeon on the PC so I can like type and interact a little bit easier and then just like main quest and stuff like that on here. Alright, so we got the stuff up here. Oh shit. Hit everything I didn't want to hit. Oh, there we go. I totally fucked that up. We're gonna go right off the bat. Alright, so far not too bad. Um, healer's doing pretty good. I'm kind of a bit shitty, but...
cool. So, so far, not too bad at all. I think the one real big thing to get used to on uh, using the controller is like switching between like move steps and all that I'm using. It's a little like awkward at times. Like, oh shit, I want to use this move real quick, but I'm holding down my other button. It's pretty good so far, and the other thing is too is like we're all level 18, so we're all like three levels above this.
Alright, cool. So, I leveled up there. Uh... That's cool. They they took my my goggles. Guy's gonna, that guy's gonna run away. So, like, I've tanked before in, like, WoW and everything, but, like, trying to do this and learn this using, like, the controller and split, like, moves, that's so weird. Like, I'm still trying to get used to, like, targeting and shit with the, with the, um, controller.
Oh, uh, really? That's pretty. That's pretty nice now. So it must. Um, I think once I get like more used to um, like targeting and using the controller and getting out of that like. Oh, and if you see, it's so easy to click and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll get good X. I've only really been playing for like a couple days now, so. like last time I, I played this when it first came out but um I played a ranged character so. just trying to get used to everything again He ran away. I'm fucking target that guy. What did I do? Oh, shit. There we go.
Okay, yeah, I think that's what they said they wanna they wanted to do here. So far, it's not going too bad. I definitely need to put in some practice. Alright, giant fish dude. tips and not just being like, hey, you're a fucking garbage man. It's been really good. Like I said, I played it like when it first came out and it bombed. Um, and then they came back to it because, you know, they gave us Legacy players uh, the update to A Realm Reborn for free. So I did that. Um, but I really didn't have anybody to play with or that was playing at the time. So it kind of didn't stick with me. So I kind of like left it, went back to playing WoW and stuff like that. But now I've got, I've got a couple people that are playing with me. Um, they're not here tonight right now, but um, they'll be here this weekend, and I'm pretty sure we'll be doing a run this weekend um, as a group, so we can check that out. We got um, pretty much three of us are, I'm going to say I'm just pretty much new to it, since I'm coming back to it, so much has changed. Um, but I've also got two other new players. Um, and then I have another friend who's at level 62, I believe. Um, but we've got all roles filled, so we got a little four-party group to, to roll around in. Uh, and I think I need to come up actually over... Was it up there? No, no I don't have to register. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, I didn't attune that. God damn it. Nice, nice. Um, I'm playing on Cactar. Uh, that is the Aether uh, world. I'm also an idiot, and I did not grab the right place, so I need to go take... I think there was a boat I took here, so I need to go grab that boat back to, to turn this in. Um, but yeah, like I said too, Alex, I have it on PC and I have it on PlayStation 4. Obviously, it's crossplay between the two, so... Um... I think they did. They started doing some like cross-world stuff as well. Um, so I'll have to check that out too. With playing with different people. Sure, let's sail. Let's sail back. Let's get this turned in. We'll see what we have next. You know, we'll do a, we'll do a couple quests together here since you know that went that went nice and quick. We did relatively well. Um, it was probably done in like 30 minutes, because I'm going to say it took me about 8 minutes or so to set up, share out, um, and get everything kind of started up with this stream tonight. Um, and right now it says the stream's at 38 minutes, so I'd say that was like a 30 minute run. Uh, not too bad. I heard like 25 minutes or so, so... Um, I just realized that was like right there too, so I could have just hit that one there, but... Uh, it's whatever. And I haven't been in this town for very long, so I have no clue where the fuck I'm going. So, um, bear with me as we, uh, navigate around back to where we're, uh, we're supposed to be. I do remember I had to run up here. shark from over here? Oh, I can. Let's do this, because I don't know if I hit this one last night. I was just kind of running around and doing some things, so... Let's see if I can attune myself over here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, especially in some of these towns. Um, hey, what's going on, Christian? How are you doing? Uh, yeah, it can. In some of these towns, it can get super confusing. I know that without getting it. Uh, that's why I liked. I started out in Ulda. And that was nice. You know, it was a place I was familiar with that I've started before, so I kind of knew what I was getting into there. Um, coming here was completely confusing because this place is set up like a fucking nightmare. It wasn't too bad, Alex. Unless, I guess it depends on the internet as well. So I've got a gig up, gig down here. So I think it took like maybe 20 minutes, and I was downloading it on like. I was downloading it on the PlayStation, on the PC, and on my laptop all at the same time. Alright, let's, let's turn this in. The only thing that sucks is I got a bunch of shit that wasn't for me.
But another thing too right now is I don't have a helmet on because I've got the little EXP boost helmet feather thing. Um, because I did use the whole like recruiter friend to get my other people in. Um, so since we all kind of have that little link together, we've been using that. I'll take it off, you know, I'm getting up there. So once I hit 25, I'll take that off because that's once it stops working. And yeah, this game definitely, um, I guess I had a lot bigger of a following than I knew of, because I definitely found, like, a, a couple podcasts that I listened to about it, one becoming, um, I think it's the Aetherite Radio, um, and I get really into depth, into depth on talks and doing QAs, uh, breaking down the content that's come out, you know, they've been with the game for 10 years, they've been doing the, you know, putting out the podcast for that long, um, on all the major updates and stuff like that. Like, they don't do, like, um, like, weekly things, so I think they had, like, 170-some episodes. But, like, if a patch came out, they'd break down the patch, go over what was coming out, but they'd keep it spoiler-free. But then once a week has passed and everybody has kind of hit that co content, they'd come back and they'd rediscuss the patch in more detail, and then they'd put out all that information. So it was kind of cool to listen through that. I kind of hopped on with the latest stuff. Yeah, I'm still a little bit from it but yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes <sighs> nice nice that's awesome um i have well this is my first stream of it uh i've been playing it for like maybe a weekish not a solid week but like a couple hours each night uh monday through friday and a little bit more over the weekends um, so it'll be a little, a little bit slower going for a little bit, but uh, once we can get some chunking done on the content, we'll make our way through that. But it just, there's so much right now because it's been going on for 10 years. And um, we have all this in front of us, all the story, you know, 10 years of story. And, you know, story isn't just in DLCs. When they do these little content patches and, like, minor updates to the game, like, your point two, your point three, your point four, or however many updates they do, they're constantly adding new story bits, new side stories, new little things for you to do. Um, for something that's been around that long, it's amazing to see, you know, that it's still going and everything, and how much they're still putting into it. get this uh let's go through this real quick so I can uh, finish up turning in this oh the other big guy's just like I'm out of here and it's like peace Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a play at your own pace game. And the thing now that's cool is um, they've added in stuff so that, like, if there's players that can't get these groups together, there's these new things that you can level up called trust. So then you can bring on these extra characters and NPC characters um, with you so you can kind of play through this solo just with this group. Um, so that's kind of a cool feature to see in the game. Um, so how they fully work out and leveling them, you know, once we get closer to where they become relevant, um, it'll be awesome to check that out. And there's just so much lore, so much story, so much built into this game. Um, the other thing I find nice is that they lay out the, um, MSQ, uh, that we have the main scenario quest, the main quest line that you, you know, go through and everybody's like, oh, how do you level? And you think of, like, um, Guild Wars 2, you think of World of Warcraft, and it's like... Do every quest in front of you. Do everything. 
you know, hit all those side missions, get on part of the next point, get ahead, get ahead, get ahead. And with this, it's not like that. We can um, take a step back, we can enjoy the main story. That's also one of the best ways to level up is doing the main story. Obviously, you'll hit some points, you know, some milestones in the game. We'll call it, we'll do that, we'll call it milestones. So, you know, coming up soon, by the time I hit, like, well, I hit 20 now, so between 20 and 25, depending, like, how much extra stuff and how much side stuff you've been doing, you'll encounter becoming part of a grand company. Once you become the grand company, um, you'll, you can start earning seals, and there's also going to be a Chocobo quest available. So now I'm going to, like, take a stop for a minute. All right, let me go get my mount, because that's going to make this 20 times better. We're going to go grab that and then come back. Um, so there's definitely a ton of different ways to approach it. I think they've laid it out pretty well, and they've been constantly building on it and trying to improve it. And it's also a game that we know is, isn't going to die out anytime soon. It's been running 10 years strong. They have already stated that there will be Final Fantasy XIV on the next-gen system. It'll be on PlayStation 5. It'll still be supported on PC. Um, they're also working on bringing it to Xbox, whether it'll come to the One X or the One, or if it'll come to the new X Series X. Um, has yet to been determined, but that's going to open up to so many more players. And it's already cross-platform, cross-play and everything, so we have that going. Um, so it'll just, it'll just be really nice to see. Um, but I think for now, I've got... He's going to give me a quest, and I'm going to have to go running, like, way out. So I think I'm going to cut this one a little bit short. Um, I just had my buddy message me. He was just getting back in. He's, he's a little bit further behind. Um, he's only level 9 because he hasn't got to play as much. But we're going to catch him up. And, um... Yeah, yeah, and quick on that. Sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought because I was reading uh, what you were saying. Um, with how they laid out the M MSQ, you also have to, like, everything that you unlock and do and learn and will become side and extra content is laid out in the main quest. Like, we were doing the MSQ, and we came to our first dungeon and laid that out. Awesome. Um, as we continue going on in the MSQ... We're going to see more features and more stuff become available to us as we progress through the story, as we hit those different parts. Like, you know, eventually we'll get up to the end of the story of A Realm Reborn. And then we're going to move into the story for Heaven's Sword. And we're going to get to do all that, and all that new stuff will start laying out. And then, um, the next e expansion, I forget what it was called. Heaven Sword, it was Blood Something. Blood Something is the second one. I just, I can't remember the name of it because I remember it wasn't like, it was alright. It was new content, but it wasn't that. And then now we have Shadowbringers. So each time we hit one of these pinnacles, it's going to be awesome because it's, it's us new players coming up on the story which everybody has lived. So we're going to be in groups with people that might have already been that part. And we're, they're going to get our reaction to this. And it's just going to be so much better. Um, there we go. Stormblood. Uh, for some reason, I can never, I can never remember that one. I think because it's Stormblood and then it's Shadowbringers. It's just like the S's. They're so close. Um, so it'll definitely, it'll definitely be interesting. Um, oh man, I'm sorry, Alex. Um, but yeah, it'll be a fresh start. So like I said, if you want to join too, uh, we are on the Aether server and we are on um, Cactar. Cactar is our world. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna work on more questing and stuff, and I believe in the next coming day or so, Ryan will be back on. Um, he's got some stuff he's gonna stream with y'all. And then later this weekend, maybe on Friday night, maybe sometime Saturday, I'll do another stream. We'll do a longer stream, um, and we'll check everything out. So, um, I do have a post in the, in the group, um, uh, about, like, my character that I came to play it. This was what it was. Um, this is what my plans were for it. So, you know, definitely pop into that thread. Maybe we can turn that into a giant thread about, um, Final Fantasy and get our own little group going. But, um, thank you to everybody that's watched. Um, it was fun going through that dungeon. Like I said, it was a little, it wasn't too bad. It was a little hectic, you know, still trying to learn the controller and tanking and targeting with that. Uh, I figured a couple things out. You guys taught me a couple things. 
And um, until next time, I'll be back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll be posting it up later, so I'll post up the full video for anybody that wants to go back or read through or listen through to what I was saying at the end since I kind of got a little long-winded here. Um, but again, thank you all. Thank you all for stopping by. Um, keep a lookout for the next stream we do. Um, I'll probably do a couple on my own page on Twitch, which is After Image Creations. And um, yeah, I guess until this weekend, I will catch you all later.